to be alarmed is Charity Crawford. On July 4th, 1776, America declared its independence from Britain, making it official that we were now free. And by we, I don't mean we at all, actually. I mean white men. In fact, at the moment that the Declaration of Independence was signed, every single state in the Union legally practiced slavery. That being said, absolutely no black people were affected in any real way at all by American independence. And the 4th of July for us was just another day of picking cotton and being beaten. So where is our day? Well, let's talk about Juneteenth. You would think it maybe had something to do with the Emancipation Proclamation, which is a document that Abraham Lincoln signed on January 1st, 1863, declaring that all slaves were free. But no, not really. Juneteenth is actually June 19th, 1865, two and a half years after that. We'll talk about why that is in a second, but first, let's talk about Lincoln freeing the slaves. He ain't really do that at all. He ain't really do that at all. The slaves freed themselves. The Civil War started in 1861, and between then and 1863, thousands of slaves escaped on their own and ran north to fight in the Union Army. Lincoln eventually realized that this was advantageous and thought, I mean, well, hey, if I say all the slaves are legally free, then maybe more of them will come fight on our side, and then, hey, the slave patrol can't take them back, we good! So then he created the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing all the slaves in the South. But that didn't matter because at the time, the South wasn't even part of America, so literally you did nothing. In fact, in the North and Maryland and Delaware, two states that he actually did have jurisdiction over, he didn't free the slaves there. He let them continue to slave during the Civil War. And that became one of the bloodiest wars in American history, killing more than 700,000 people, which is more than the Revolutionary War, World War I, World War II, and Vietnam put together. So yeah, about a million people died in a war fighting about whether or not you should own black people. Back to Juneteenth. So yeah, on April 9th, 1865, Robert E. Lee surrendered, officially ending the Civil War. And then the next week, on April 14th, 1865, Abraham Lincoln was shot because people were mad about that. And even though slavery was being completely eradicated from the South, there were still plenty of slaves in Texas. Literally hundreds of thousands of African Americans who didn't know that they were free were being kept in Texas because it was the farthest away from the Union's control. But then, on June 19th, 1865, General Granger and his army went into Galveston, Texas, and General Granger stood upon a balcony and announced to the entire city of African Americans below them that they were now and the entire crowd erupted into black joy. Singing, dancing, shouting, crying, laughing, black joy. So much so that the next year, those very same free black people went to celebrate under that very same balcony. This story of pure black joy isn't really told and it's for many reasons. One of them is that shortly after slavery, when the Jim Crow laws started, black people weren't allowed to celebrate in public lest they be lynched. Black joy became illegal, punishable by death. Another reason we don't celebrate it is simply because America doesn't like to face its gruesome slave history and so Independence Day is just more agreeable to everyone. And the honest truth is, even June 19th, 1865 wasn't really about black people. It was just a random day that a general decided to go flex his power on Texas and say, you will obey America or else. That same general that spoke on that balcony on Juneteenth, in that very speech, he suggested that the newly freed slaves just go back to the plantation and ask for a job. So basically just go back to doing the same thing you've been doing, but now you make a penny for your time. So no, not even that moment on June 19th was about us, but this holiday, Juneteenth, is ours. We as black people have mastered the art of turning pain into passion, of turning misery into music, and so Juneteenth is a celebration of our freedom, of our joy. There's still much work to be done, there's still a long journey ahead, but we will walk this road with laughter in our spirits, with joy, in our hearts, we will walk in this road. Happy Juneteenth. I love you. One more thing, if you wanna learn everything that I talked about in this video, plus every other piece of knowledge that I have ever learned ever, then click the link in my bio and join the Genius Factory. With this quarantine, we are in the hardest moment of our entire lifetimes, and so I have created a quarantine super school 
In it, I have videos about financial empowerment, overcoming anxiety and depression, finding peace, actualizing your purpose. Click the link in my bio and join the Genius Factory. Please, please, I guarantee that you will come out of this quarantine stronger than ever. See you there. I love you.